Hello, I'm Karen Buck, and welcome to Wedding 411 On Demand Podcasts. And today we are out here in beautiful Frederick, Maryland at the Morningside Inn with Lauren Schmidt, who is the Wedding Sales Manager. Welcome, Lauren. Thank you. Lauren, tell us a little bit about Morningside. We are actually the destination wedding without having to go anywhere. Yes. So Morningside is located at the back end of 300 acres. Uh, I know many people feel like they're stranded out here, but uh, <laughs> within 15 minutes, they're back to civilization, and we offer both ceremonies and receptions. So 15 minutes back to civilization mm -hmm. and places for out-of-town guests to stay? That's correct. So I would say we're probably the mid point between Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. So not only are we in the center of the airports, yes. uh, but again, within 15 minutes, they're back to any hotel that they can think of. Uh, and many of them offer not only a bridal block if they book enough rooms, but mm -hmm. a shuttle service as well to kind of keep all of those out-of-town guests that didn't arrive with a car sure. here on time. Speaking of cars, tell us a little bit about parking in a country setting. Always something to check into. Any venue is different. Many venues only offer a field for parking, so it's important oh, to you know account for everything. Yes, fortunately here, our staff will direct the guests to let passengers out here at the front door, mm -hmm. and then point them in the right direction to our main parking uh, with three lots and 90 spaces. So and within walking for, distance. For umbrellas if it rains. Of course, you never know. Raining what to is good luck. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Tell us a little bit about indoors, outdoors, Plan A, Plan B. What should be considered when you're planning this outdoor wedding? Everything you mentioned and more. It's always great to find out that they have a great plan B. Um, we've seen sure. hurricane warnings here this year, tornado warnings, mm -hmm. uh, snow in parts of the year that shouldn't have snow. Mm -hmm. um, fortunately, we have a plan B that captures the same view that plan A would have. And in about 10 minutes, we can turn things around on short notice. Just make sure that there's, you know, tents to accommodate for things like that and so forth. So you could have the ceremony and the cocktail reception outdoors and then go inside for a reception and dance. That's correct. And the best part about it is that we can move things around so quickly that you don't really have to plan necessarily on all of it outdoors or all of it indoors. Tell us a little bit about all that you do offer. We are all-inclusive, so when the bride comes here, she really has a care, doesn't have a care in the world. Uh, Morningside covers all of the linens, all the place mm -hmm. settings, all of the tables and chairs on both levels, the wedding coordinator, all the setup and cleanup. Uh, nobody wants to take trash out after no. their wedding night. No. And all of the staffing. That is wonderful. Tell us a little bit about the food. Vegetarian, gluten -free. Fabulous menu. Uh, our chef has actually been here for nearly all of our 17 years. So mm -hmm. he, he prepares everything himself. It's all made from scratch. And I always tell my brides that there's no need to uninvite their vegetarians <laughs> or their gluten allergy guests. Uh, he is happy to accommodate for anything as long as we can give him enough notice in advance. So it's not necessary that we have to use a preferred vendor from a preferred vendor list? That's correct. So Morningside is required to provide the catering and bar, but beyond mm -hmm. that, uh, we always encourage that the bride use our preferred vendors for florist, photography, DJ, and cake, but mm -hmm. they may have their own connections that they've used previously. You're an aunt that bakes cakes for a living or something like that. Tell us a little bit about noise restrictions when you're dealing with an outside venue. Great question. So here you would think that we wouldn't have to worry about noise at all. We're at 300 acres. Yeah. Uh, however, the only time that we really run into a noise issue would be when people do fireworks uh, at their yeah. send off. So generally, the only thing that we really need to be concerned with is calling the neighboring farms to let them know to put their horses away so that they sure. don't get spooked from the sound. Open flame. Indoors, outdoors, does it make a difference? Not necessarily. We just ask that the bride not have any floral arrangements or any components of their centerpieces that might interfere with the, the flame and, and light on fire. We're, in fact, even happy to uh, light everything for the bride. Handicap accessibility. Great question. So when considering any venue, but particularly the country venue, uh, it's always important to find out where the ceremony will be located. So mm -hmm. many times this might be in the middle of a field. Mm -hmm. uh, fortunately, here at Morningside, we have three ramps that will lead to the various locations for dinner, the ceremony, and the reception. Excellent. Do you have any other tips that you can give us on planning a country setting wedding? I would always, always recommend asking questions. Um, many country venues are not cut and dry, if you will, uh, regarding the flow of the event. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would always ask questions to determine how everything will work and whether or not they can accommodate the plan B. Thank you so much for all your wonderful tips. And thank you for joining Wedding 411 On Demand's podcasts.